Hey guys, how are ya? My name is Son of a Gap, and we are back with Sherlock Holmes, the Devil's Daughter. As you can remember, we finished our first case, and now we're back with another one. The second one was called A Study in Green. So let's take a look. Um, you have to take part in the finals of the Lawn Bowling Tournament, and therefore I need to change my clothes. I did it last video, but um, as you can see, it didn't get safe, so let's get back here and change our clothes to a sports gear. Sailor outfit, morning, festive attire. Um, nah, doctor, bandit, pastor, sports bear, there it is. I'm sure we can just stay like that. We don't need to change um, the hair or anything like that. So, um, and as I told you guys earlier um, in the last video, it could be that this is a similar case in comparison to A Study in Pink by um, the Sherlock Holmes series. Um, with Benedict Cumberbatch. So let's see if I'm right, or if it's something completely different. Um, let's say hello to Watson and of course to Toby before we start our um, case. Are you really sure you want to wear that? This? Everyone dresses like this at the club. <laughs> that should be a sight worth seeing. I only hope our charming neighbor won't spot you like that. All right. Let's go to Toby, say hello. Who chased his own tail again? I should walk with you more often. Yeah, you should. That's a cute little dog. Alright, um... Well, it's just fast travel there. There's no way to... Um, walk that far. And let's see what this case is all about. And I still want to find out why he has a daughter. It's not his own daughter. Um, it's a daughter from another guy. And I want to know where Caitlin comes from. Mr. Holmes. You played very well yesterday. I'm obliged to you, Sir Charles. I play many outdoor sports. That's the key to my success. My friend Dr. Watson has decided to join me. Really? Mr. Holmes, would you like to see the first prize? A rare stone Mayan Kiche calendar. Mayan Kiche? Indeed. Their legendary king, Tekun Uman, has his statue just behind you. Although this one is a cast metal copy. That? Oh. Well, since only members may enter the clubhouse, we have exhibited the calendar outside. Please, explore. Okay, so... Let's take a look around. And I'll talk to some people and see what's going on here. Good luck, Holmes. Thank you, Watson. The statue of Takun Uman. I've never heard of Takun Uman. This statue is made of metal. Alright. Um, as always, let's... walk around the left side first. I'd like around. to win the Mayan calendar. It's a beautiful work of art. Okay, good luck to you, Sue. Oh, let's walk a little bit faster. Okay. Do we want to go upstairs yet? Uh, okay, there's a door. Can get inside. Maybe later. I can't talk to him. Alright. Let's take a look downstairs first. In the yard. There's some guys. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad you are my opponent for the final. People call me Arthur the Invincible. Ooh. So I wish you good luck. All right, Arthur the Invincible. Wait. Ah, oh, go around. This will keep Watson happy. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to talk to him yet. Damn ah, it, Mr. Holmes. 
Are you ready to begin the final game? Not yet, please. Uh, no. I still need some time. Yes. All right. There is Watson again. What? Wait. How did you get here? You were over there in the first a minute ago. Maybe a few seconds. Oh, okay. I lost to the quarterfinals, but the green was worth. What's back here? Nothing. All right. Arthur is in the final with you know who? Mr. Sherlock Holmes. How exciting! <laughs> yeah, very exciting. What are you doing? Some Qigong? Tai Chi? Yeah. Nice. What a beautiful day for November. I think I would say what a beautiful day for England. <laughs> Not only the first November. prize, the Mayan Kiche calendar. That's a calendar, okay. If you say so. Can I get back to talk to him? No. I can't. Okay, then let's It's a great final. Did you see the first prize? Okay. Let's get inside. Let's see if there's something of importance. Otherwise we would just start the final. Only club members have access. Ah, great. Let's just get started. So, are you ready now? Sure. I have no idea how this game works, but sure, yes. why not? Let's start the final. Okay. Beat your opponent by landing bowls as close as possible to the white marker bowl. Alright. Um, hold to zoom. Okay. We aim like that. And throw with, with X. Ah, okay. How far do we want to go? Halfway? What the hell is... Why is it a curve? Um, Alright, do I have to move it like that? I have no idea. Let's just try. This one was... Not that bad. First try. He's going from the left. A little bit. Um, can I change the, uh, the way I'm... I wanna... Ah, that's how I change it. Just do it like that. And maybe so. A little bit too fast, maybe. Oh, it looks really good. The only downside is if he hits the white bowl, I will have a problem. Looks pretty good. Um, I will need to get it from the right again. A little bit more so, and a little bit more. A little bit harder this time. Maybe this is the way to go. I want to get in front of the white bowl. Yes, yes! I hit it! Nice. Ah, it's a little bit too far. Until now, it's 3 to 0 for me. No, 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 what are you doing? This one was a really good one. Okay. Hopefully I can hit his brown bowl. Uh, it's too wide to the right. Okay, too far to the right. 
But I'm closer. Let's see what he's doing. Ooh, from the left. Way too far, way too far. I won this one. I should have won this one. Should be a 3 to 1, maybe? Okay, 2 0. Okay. Very nice. Let's go to the next round. Once again, we'll do it like that. That's pretty good. Maybe we can recreate the same game again. Okay, maybe like that. Oh, way too hard. Ooh, this was way too hard. Hmm. It was a bad shot. Yeah, I'm so sorry. This would be a point for him because he's closer than me. Ah, too slow. But at least it could be. Ah, not that bad. It's directly in ah, not directly in front. Arthur Leebrook. Okay. Very slow. I will need to do the same what I did before. Coming in from the right. Like, like that. About half speed. This could be good. This should hit the uh, white bowl. Shouldn't it? Ah, uh, not quite. That's pretty close. This was not bad at all. This was pretty good. So I will now need to... Oh god damn it, no. He would hit the white bowl. That's a point for him. So I will need to hit his bowl somehow. That was too slow, wasn't it? Yeah, it was way too slow. Damn it. A little bit more. That could be my round. Yeah, it's one nothing for him. I'm still, still ahead by one point. I should be. I should be. Yeah. he won this round, he gets to decide where the ball lands. Pretty far, so it's a nearly full full power. Feels like it's not going to be easy to win this one. Hmm, this was a good one. A really good one. was too slow. Way too slow. Hmm. I 
I'm not good at boulder, so... <laughs> I would be better if I would do it myself in real life, so... Yeah, he's going to win this one. Let's go from the left, a little bit more like that. Uh, maybe... Ah, oh, wait! Was too soft again. Way too soft. It was the same like the la like last time, but maybe he will hit my boulder. Out of bounds, isn't it? Isn't it out of bounds? So we need to restart this game, I think. Do it like that. A lot more speed. Was too far to the left. Okay. This is not easy. But I want to win this. But I can't if he's going to be good. Ah, he's close. I'm gonna need to try and hit his boulder. Nearly full speed. Like that. Come on. Why does it stop? Did I. Should I have. Wait! Fortunately, I'll be unable to attend tomorrow. Duty calls. Ah, what a pity. Let's go home. Ah, oh, really? We're going home? Why? Let me just talk to my opponent. My congratulations, Mr. Holmes. Thank you very much. Yeah, the day after the finals. All right, and let's get back to Baker Street. Yes, we won. Really great. See what happens next day. Do I still have to wear those clothes? Actually, they look pretty nice. And this is sportswear? In 1880 something? Okay. Oh, the loading screen takes a long lot of time. Mr. Bouvier. Hello, Mr. Holmes. Well, Caitlin? She's pretty. Your costume! <laughs> Don't you like it? Oh, I do! <laughs> Caitlin, come on. Show some respect for your father. Okay, let's take a look at her. She is pretty. Um, there's nothing to see here. We have this brooch, I think. A necklace. Extended truly occult item. It looks like an occult item, maybe. Let's just start with that. What else do we have? Sorry, love. Love token. Visits a prisoner. Okay. No ring, so she's not married. Correct. Oh, she cut herself. Ah, that looks like a suicide attempt. Um, is it a cult item or a... what do you think? It's, it's, no, it's not, it's not jewelry. Let's take it like that. Okay, 
Alice is Sherlock Holmes' new neighbor. She is young and beautiful, and she seems to relate well to children. But she's still not married. The love token that she wears alludes to her connection with the criminal world. She suffered a difficult past. Her scars indicate that she survived a suicide attempt. Judging by her jewelry, she's in interested in occult science. Very nice. You know, Father, Miss Alice was telling me all about her travels. She has already toured the world with her own father. Your daughter is exquisite. And just to think that she was aboard the Orient Express when it was attacked. <gasps> what a dream. Really? Indeed. She's so creative and imaginative. And that reminds me, would you allow Caitlin to visit me so that she can practice playing the piano? Sure. Oh, no. Nah. Really? I have to refuse? Playing the piano is really beautiful. Um, let's take this. It's very kind of you, but I decided that Caitlin should stop playing the piano. Oh, Father! Why did you say that? Caitlin, we are neighbors. We'll meet again. Until then, I shall leave you with this book. The Adventures of Thank the you, Empty Zales. House. Mm -hmm. The next morning. All right, we're back in our normal attire. Uh, what do we have to do? We have to get back to yeah, the ceremony award. Uh, to the ceremony to get the award. That's how. Uh, yeah. Let's just go there and see what's what. did it. It killed Zacharias. Calm what? yourself now, Sir Charles. You've had a shock. Let the police do their duty. What can a mere inspector like you do about it? You don't know anything. A mere inspector? Sure. And now here comes Mr. Holmes. Lestrade, are you here to receive a prize as well? <laughs> Very amusing, Holmes. You can go home. The ceremony's been cancelled. We've got a murder scene here. Really? And to think I only came here for my prize. I know, <laughs> Holmes. I saw your name on the list of finalists. So go away. You're not going to congratulate me. What? Do you really think I'm that naive? You turning up out of the blue and then bam, a murder? There's a surprise. Oh, mm. you're making a spectacle of yourself, Lestrade. Let's just pretend that I'm a simple uh, consultant, your humble assistant. Oh, all right then. A club member, Mr. Zacharias Greystoke, was killed at around four in the morning. There. Now don't mess around. I promise that I won't, Inspector. It's not my first case, Lestrade. Okay, let's talk about the murder case. Uh, yeah, first about the murder case. What do you make of the facts? It's quite clear. The murderer intended to steal the Mayan calendar. He was caught by Zacharias Greystoke. He then took up the first weapon that came to hand, the statue spear, and killed Greystoke. Then he fled, just as Sir Charles was coming out of the club. Unfortunately, we've been unable to find any trail beyond the club's wall. It's as if the murderer vanished into thin air. Well, take a look for yourself. Okay. Did you search the clubhouse? What for? The murder took place outside. Well, maybe there's something hidden? Or missing? Something else? The iron mounting rod is broken. Traces of metal on stone. Metal? Okay. The surface is damaged. Alright. Traces of metal on stone. It looks like the statue broke away from its pedestal. Yeah. Could have told you that. Pieces from the pedestal. A piece of the statue's mounting rod. Okay. 
So, the statue is broken. Um, let's go around first. Maybe I can what did talk. the police say? Do you know anything? Hmm. I thought I could talk to them. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Nice to know. Oh. Oh, I'm standing right on it. Scratches on the stone. All right. So something got dragged here. Where? There. A broken branch. Somebody jumped into the tree and then over the wall. Yeah. It's a great way to escape. Can I help you, Mr. Holmes? Maybe later. Let's move along. But scratches of metal. But did someone really? It was a metal statue. Someone broke it down, dragged it all the way here and over. I repeat, over the wall. Really? By himself? I, I don't believe it. Uh, before I take a look, yeah, let's take a look at the crime scene first before I get inside. Uh, well, let's talk to him. Let's see what he's got to say. Sir Charles, are you able to tell me in detail what happened? Ah, Mr. Holmes. Well, to prepare for the awards ceremony, I decided to spend the night here at the club. I was sitting alone at my desk when I suddenly heard a loud metallic sound and a terrible shout. I hurried outside and... and... Well, I found the body of Zacharias. And I swear it. I saw the statue of Tekun Uman running away. What? The statue? Wait. Can I leave him? And... No, I can't leave him. I wanted to leave and just take a look at the crime scene first. Um... Got some pimples, mustache... Oh, this one. Precious stones, poor quality. Alright, we got this. Annual meeting. No, it's not a flyer. I think it's a, he's socially active. We got the crown. Completely. Decoration. No, I think he's active. Otherwise, why would he. Badge. Ex military. Alright. He's married. Yeah, I think he's an active guy. Because it was his uh, tournament. So I think he should be active. At least socially and maybe even politically. Why not? So, Sir Charles Yellingham is the manager of the London Archaeological Institute's bowling club. He was formerly a, so a soldier with a prestigious... Infantry, a married man. Sir Charles appears to be rich, but his wealth is superficial. He's politically engaged with the Tory party and seems to have an active social life. Hopefully, I'm right. Investigate the crime scene and carry the process. Right. You saw the statue running. It, it was dark, but yes, I'm sure of it. It was running, and it was making the most horrible metal sound as it did so. And can't you see? The pedestal is now empty. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you know the victim? Yes, of course. It was Zacharias Greystoke. He is... was a club member and an excellent bowler. But why was he here so early in the morning? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. So, Charles, where did the Mayan calendar come from? It was donated anonymously. We received it shortly before the tournament, with a letter asking that it be awarded to the winner. Okay. Is the calendar valuable? Not really. It has historical value, of course. But to be truthful with you, Mr. Holmes, it isn't worth very much. May I go in the clubhouse? It's members only. I cannot authorize anyone unless that person has a written warrant from the police. Okay, so we have to talk to Lestrade to get the warrant. Um... First, let's take a look at the crime scene. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Thank you very much. So the calendar's still here, so nobody stole that. If I believed Lestrade, this Mayan calendar was the reason behind the murder. Okay, let's take a look at the tables over here. No, can I get upstairs? No. Yeah, 
the bowling tournament, and yeah, as you can see, I won. The great tournament of the London Archaeological Institute's bowling club. What a spectacular season. <laughs> okay. No time to reminisce. Let's go on and investigate. Ooh, this looks nasty. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. And he got a spear from behind, so he didn't see his attacker at this at the moment. And it was at least it looks like it. It was here and not over there, so hmm. Golden watch. Pretty. The case is scratched and dented. Okay. I thought I could just... Oh, I would like to open it. Can I open it? There it is. Okay. Tissot watch. Swiss. 1855. Ooh. This watch is valuable and old. It's been through a great deal. Yeah. So, we've got a lot of papers around here. Zacharias's folder with some documents. It looks like hieroglyphs, in a way. These drawings represent the Mayan symbols. Okay. So, he tr maybe he tried to understand the Mayan calendar and what it means, all the symbols, and that's why he had all those documents. What's over here? Dry leaves. They make a noise. Zacharias probably walked across them. Yeah, okay. What else? What else? Oh, this one. Well, I see his initials. Can I open it somehow? Come on, please. Ah. Right. Money was left inside the wallet. Okay. So maybe he was. Yes. Maybe he was. All wasn't were left on the victim. The strike was powerful and well aimed. Yeah. So maybe he was an accomplice. They. The main target was the statue, and they wanted to steal it. In a way, perhaps. Or maybe just one guy wanted to steal it and caught him off guard. Well, he caught him off guard. Um, but he's laying like that. So, he should have been struck from this side. Somebody was maybe hiding behind here. Huh. Okay. Got the leaves. There's nothing else here. Something to see. Nope. Okay, let's talk to the strat again and get a warrant, hopefully. And what about the statue? Well, no idea yet. I imagine a thief must have taken it somehow. Hmm. Right, so there were thieves and they were very well equipped? Yes, mm. must have been. But then there's also <laughs> Sir Charles's version, but. Uh... Please go on. <laughs> he said this morning that he was alone at his desk when he heard a shout. He went outside and saw Greystoke lying on the ground, and... Believe it or not, he said that there was no one else on the green that night but the statue itself running away! <laughs> you mean that the statue might have killed the victim? Interesting. Possible. Absurd, more like. No, Besides, it was dark and foggy. So, somewhat like your version, then. Hmm. So, actually, it could be that somebody removed the statue um, beforehand, and replaced it by himself and he was posing as a statue and when the time was right he killed that guy because he was in the way and just left but why what's the mind calendar about so you're kidding me you think he threw it from over here through his chest what force did he had but he, but he looked why would you fall like that? If somebody would hit me with a spear from behind, I would fall straight forward on my belly. Ha. Huh. Th 
throw a spear. No, let's say he steps on the leaves. Then the statue throws the spear because he heard it. Afterwards, held by the attack, over there, Sir Charles emerges from the club, sees him uh, lying on the ground screaming, and sees a statue running away over there. That's what I think. Let's see if I'm right. Ooh, okay. It looks as if Zacharias was killed the moment he approached the calendar, and killed by the spear from Takunuman's statue that jumped from its stand and escaped over the wall. This is rather peculiar. Okay. Huh. I think we should investigate the Mayan calendar. Um. Okay. Let's get back here. Still need a warrant. Well, Holmes, your conclusions as my consultant. My conclusions are approximate to Sir Charles's testimony. <laughs> oh dear, you think the statue did it? Everything points to the fact that the spear was thrown from the pedestal and Mr. Greystoke appeared not to notice the killer. Oh, indeed. The journalists will be ecstatic about your version. <laughs> I would like to examine the victim and take a look at his belongings. Oh, you've amused me at least, Mr. Holmes. Very well. I'll grant you authorization for the examination at Scotland Yard, but nothing more. I need a warrant. Come on, Lestrade. Uh, I don't want to go to... Um, Scotland Yard yet. I want to get upstairs. A murder at my club. What a disaster for our reputation. Yeah. Surely. Oh, let's get up. Maybe we can take a look up here. Maybe there isn't a clue left I haven't seen. Can't get inside. There's nothing here to see. Okay. Well, let's go to Scotland Yard. I don't have any clues yet, so... Hmm... Thank you for coming so quickly, Watson. Lestrade already has the victim's body in the autopsy room. Very I'm nice. I'm always ready to help any time, Holmes. Very good. I still don't get it. Huh. Okay, so let's take a look at the this spear. This spear came from the statue on the pedestal. Yeah, definitely. And I did... The statue should have used a lot of power and thrust. It went all the way through the body, halfway through, nearly. Wow. An ordinary pencil. Alright, then we have Tis the watch. watch. Swiss, 1855. Yes. Money was left inside the wallet. Alright, and now let's take a look at these hieroglyphs. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, Zacharias had already translated some symbols. Very good. And let's, um... I'm always ready to help any time, Holmes. You are always near me, although I didn't hear your footsteps. Oh, okay. Are you a ghost, Watson? Am I the only one able to see you? <laughs> let's go to the morgue and let's take a look at the body. Is he missing an eye? No, he's not. Red eye. It looks like a serious infection. An infection? Okay. He got scars all over his body. 
Traces of alcohol were found in the stomach. Apparently, Zacharias had been drinking before his death. Yeah. All right. It was a powerful throw. The spear mm -hmm. pierced right through the body. Yeah, definitely powerful. The coroner mentions in his report some specific cardiac and digestive system damage. Yeah, of course. What else? Turn him around. Ouch. This is where the spear entered the body. The murderer aimed for the heart. Yeah, from the behind. must have been thrown by a strong and skilled person. Yeah, definitely. All those marks, all the scratches. These scars are old. All right. Is that it? That's all? Really? I'm always ready to help anytime, Holmes. Uh, I thought you'd give me some insights, some more. Is there something I can use? Nah. Okay. Let's go back to the start. I still need a warrant. I want to go into the clubhouse. There's no need to disturb the straw for the time being. Really? I can't go there. I can't go there. Okay. My dictionary. Mm-hmm. 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 So, ah, we got the mine calendar. We have to search in the archives. Reconstructed this. Leaves near the body. Okay. Only members may enter the clubhouse. So it has... No, it doesn't have to be. Let's go back home. Let's go back to Baker Street and search in the archives for the Mayan calendar. Hopefully we will find some clues. Sitting here, not at the door. Well, um, encyclopedia, I think so. Um, what just happened? Oh, okay. Whew. Art. Now let's take history and the Maya civilization. The Mayan Empire, centered in the tropical lowlands, the region nowadays known as Guatemala had reached the perk of its power and influence around the 6th century AD. The Maya excelled at agriculture, pottery, hieroglyphic writing, calendar creation and mathematics, leaving behind them an astonishing record of architecture and symbolic artwork. The principal nation of pre-conquest um, Guatemala was the Quiches. The Quiches? Quiches? Accent de Gu and Accent Graf. Ah, uh, okay, Quiches, I think. Also known as the Maya Quiches. The name of these of this people means many trees taken from the forested highlands which they inhabited. Tikkun Uman was the last ruler and the Quiches king who fought with his army against the Spanish conquerors in the Battle of Pinal, where his chest was fatally pierced by the sword of Don Pedro de Alvarado. According to the legend, even in death, Kunuman continued to protect his people. Oh, his chest was pierced. So, that's how he died. It is. But by the sword, it was um, the spear. All right. Um. What do we have here? 
letter from Dr. Fisher. Sherlock Holmes, it's Dr. Ruben Fisher. Do you remember me? Ah, from the last case. Okay. Well, you are a, so a sorry excuse for a detective. You fail to understand who why any of it was done. We chose the lesser evil for a greater, brighter future. We needed to sacrifice the few to help the ma majority. We will remember these words one day. Sincerely, Dr. Ruben Fisher. I don't care. He killed a lot of people. So. Um, examine Zacharias, Zacharias Greystoke's body and his belongings at Scotland Yard. Didn't I do so? Okay, let's go, let's, let's go back. Somehow. I missed something. Do I have any clues yet? Okay. Those three, but... I don't think that they belong together in a way. No. No. Hmm. What did I miss? I think I missed something on his body. Because the evidence was already green. Let's take a look. Release him, please. He's not guilty. Ah, I didn't take it. I forgot the that. Calendar. Here's a chance to have a closer look. Awesome. Okay, so we have all those hieroglyphs. We have. Is this Takuna Man? I'm not sure. Let's turn around. Ooh, what do we have here? Interesting. What are the symbols here? I'll need to redraw them. Cool. I could use this dictionary to translate the calendar's glyphs. Yeah. Let's try that. They are the symbols that were drawn on the Mayan calendar. The papers from Zacharias's folder. They can help us to translate the Mayan message. Of course. So. Now we have to match the symbols. Um, we, um, we got this one. This is this scared. Ah, oh, sacred, <laughs> illuminated. Let's stay with, with sacred for the moment. Um, what else? Is there something else? Ah, oh, this one. Every, only, and all. Let's just take only. For the time being, um, I think ah, chosen and God, maybe chosen. Okay, next page. I think that's it for um, this page. Yeah. Otherwise, we come back later to that if I missed something. So. This one to meet fate, to meet death, awarded. Hmm. What else? Uh, okay. Now let's go on. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> um. Hmm. What do we have here? None of the symbols, maybe? I don't see any duplicates. This one. Let's say nobody. What else we got? The statue, possibly. <sighs> this one. Maybe to be. I have 
mercy. Home, temple, village, maybe temple. And now I need only three more. Need this, this, and that. Okay. Let's go on. Looks like I'm at the first page again. Okay. I overlooked something. Nothing here. Um, this one. Sealed or risen. Let's stay sealed. We need two more. The one with the bowling holes. And another thing. Not on this page. Um, three holes. Cursed. Maybe cursed. Uh, and this one. Find. Maybe. Okay. Uh, cursed to be anyone not crowd anyone to disturb sacred temple to meet death may fate risen statue only chosen what Curse to be anyone to disturb sacred temple. To meet fate. Not risen, sealed, maybe sealed statue. Chosen to the scent, maybe. I don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. Ha. Huh. hard. There are so many valuables, so many possibilities. Maybe it's death? No, I think I've missed something here. And it's maybe a really risen statue? No, I think I've missed something here. Only... God, I don't to have mercy. I don't think so. I should pay more attention to details. Wow, this is so hard. Um, <sighs> curious to be anyone to find, maybe to find. I don't think so. No. I should pay more attention to details. Find sacred temple. Some statue. Only God to have mercy. Actually, it, to me, it makes sense. But it's still not right.
Maybe it's not sacred, maybe it's illuminated. No, I think I've missed something here. But how? Exit anyway? No, I don't want to exit this. Hmm. I still think it's sacred. And to meet fate. I don't think so. Maybe it's, maybe the, the maybe it's sealed. Maybe, I just think it's, it's disturbed. God is wrong, I think. It's I guess it's chosen. Hmm. Hey! D uh, Dalek Ken. Hi, how are you? Wie geht's dir? I'm still puzzled by this uh, riddle here. I'm not sure uh, which what is the uh, um, the right way. I don't think so. I should pay more. Maybe to descend. Hmm. Cursed to be anyone, to disturb sacred temple, to meet fate, sealed statue, only chosen to descend. This could be right. Let's see. No, I think I've missed something here. Okay. I've missed something. What could be right? What, 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 what could be the answer? But he died, so I think it's still death. Maybe. The statue wasn't sealed, it was it, it, it rose and it killed him. And only God have mercy, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try this. Cursed will be anyone Ooh. who disturbs the sacred temple. They will meet okay. their death by the risen statue. Only the chosen will have mercy. Nice! It's not it took only me a while. Calendar, it's a curse. Zacharias Greystoke, a member of the club, was killed as the curse decreed. It's possible that the link between Zacharias and the curse is at the archaeological club. I'll need a search warrant. Yeah, I thought so. I need a search warrant. Okay, so we have the mine calendar. Um, and some facts. So let's see. That's our first clue. Uh, I'm fine as well. Thank you very much. Um, so, running statue. Sir Charles saw the statue of Tikkun Uman running away. Or, false statement, Sir Charles didn't see the running statue. He is either lying or the running figure was somebody else. Um, it's, it's the first clue. So let's, just, let's just say he saw what he saw until proven otherwise. Okay, so let's go on. Um, we need a warrant, so let's find Lestrade. There he is. What is... Shapes of noses? Why? Why would you have something like that? Okay. Aren't you supposed to be investigating those cases of yours instead of bothering me? Good day to you too, Inspector. I have a small favor to ask of you, a search warrant to investigate the murder at the club. No, no, and no. Why not? <laughs> Come on. 
This is the first time I would take a look at Lestrade. Bags under eyes, lack of sleep. Okay. Got a mustache. What is this? Red stain. No, it's not blind. This blood is wine, definitely. Blood isn't purple. Not normally. Uh Okay. Aspirin? Mm-hmm. Hangover. Yeah. I'm sure. Because of the wine. His pistol is out, so he's cleaning this one. He's in a good mood. There's a letter. Oh, it's a letter from the Robin family. Okay. We got a handkerchief. Perfumed expensive. Oh, he was out with a woman. All right, Lestrade, you dog. <laughs> Lestrade is exhausted. He didn't sleep well last night. He has been drinking wine. Now he has a headache. Cleaning his gun suggests that he is in a good mood. He keeps a lady's perfumed handkerchief as a memento. Mrs. Robin, the wife of a British councilman, might be connected with Lestrade's, Lestrade's present condition. Since yeah. I'm without the warrant, I should find something else to do. By the way, do you know if Sir Robin is currently in town? I have no idea. And why on earth should you even think that I might know that? Well, I believe I may have solved a case about, let's say, a salacious inspector. No, it's not what you think. Nothing dishonorable happened. Go on then, take your warrant. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> so, he refused to give you the search warrant? Oh no, I've got it. I won't need you for a while now, Watson. I'll see you later. All right. Um, yeah, the dialogue, of course, we got that. Let's go back to the club and let's investigate the clubhouse. Um, Dalek, you're not that late, actually. I s just started uh, this new um, case. It's been an hour, but I haven't found that many clues yet. Uh, I just won a boulder tournament, and I should have been getting my prize the next day, and instead of that, this statue is missing, and there was a dead man here, and the owner, the guy over there, he thinks that the statue killed him because he saw the statue running away and climbing over this wall. But a metal statue, really? But there are scratch markers on the on the bottom as well. So let's see. Let's talk to him first. Sir Charles, I have a search warrant. I would like to take a look inside the clubhouse. I see. Here's the key. But I do protest. Yeah, of course you do. Um, let's get up upstairs. I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue's spear. Why yes. won't the police say anything? We have a right to know the truth. Well, the truth isn't out yet, so you just need to take a moment and wait. Alright, um, as always, let's start from the left. Someone was playing chess, but it's irrelevant. We got some. Oh, thank you, very, thank you very much for your follow, Dalek. Yeah, we'll have some fun. Maybe we can see each other later. All right, have a good time, and I had a nice weekend. S see ya. So, notification from Bank. Dear Sir Charles, please be advised that we have successfully transferred a new trench. To your club's account. What is a trench? Um, I need to Google that. Just wait a sec. I don't know this word. What is a tranche? I don't know. Uh, hmm. Ah, okay, okay, it's the same like the German word, um, a tranche, okay. 
to your club's account. However, the payment period has been reduced to one month and the sum of credit to £1,000 due to previous overdue amounts. If you wish to review your account, you should con contact the bank manager directly. So, he had some financial trouble, it looks like it. What else? A letter from the jeweler. March 1881, James Ness and Sons um, to Sir Charles Yellingham. We acknowledge receipt of your item, namely 458 grams of solid gold from a part gold Guatemalan statue. We agree to purchase this item. Monies? Is this, is this monies? Plural? Will be paid within 48 hours from receipt of this letter. Although this transaction is entirely legal, we do assure you that it will remain confidential. Alright, so he sold something golden from the statue. And this was a statue um, at the front, which supposedly killed the man. 14 years ago, Sir Charles sold a large fragment from a gold Guatemala statue for a considerable sum. Yeah. Alright. What else do we have here? There's a picture. Ah, Sir Charles was once a captain in the guard. Yeah, we know that. He was serving some military service. Some spectacles, some books, some more pictures. Charles Yellingham has a large family. Let's take a look at the, to the drawers. Another letter. Telegram from Zacharias. Yellingham, as I sat here in front of everyone, you cannot give away this calendar. I want to study it. We have to discuss this matter before the, before the awards ceremony. I have already warned the other one of this. Who is the other one? So there is a third person. I thought so. Okay. So Charles received a telegram from Zacharias regarding his intention to visit the club before the prize ceremony. So he knew that he was coming. So he lied to us. A message oh. to Sir Charles from Zacharias Greystoke, the victim. Hmm. What do we have here? Estimate of requirements for guest night for Mr. Olivier. Olivier, uh, the company director of Royal Parties, to organize the award ceremony for our bowling club's most recent competition. To the estimation of requirements for guest night, 20 cases of champagne, dinner for 40, reserved from the restaurant, a local musical ensemble to provide entertainment, wait, it doesn't have any money, 30 flower arrangements for table decoration, invitation cards for guests. I know this will be quite expensive, but do please allow me a period of grace to settle the payment as I recall, you were so generous to grant on the previous occasion, thanking you in advance. Okay, and what else? There are two Sir Charles from Lloyd's Bank. Okay, from Brittany Loveless. Dear Sir Charles, our records show that you are once again late, and this is the fourth time in paying the credit you have with our house. Any delay in payment results in a fine of seven pounds ten shillings. After studying your proposal, we agreed to seizing part of your club's collection and payment of the credit, which will be sold in private auction. All raised monies will be reversed against your credit account. So maybe somebody, somebody from the bank came and took the statue away. Maybe. Um, the club is a debtor of Lord's Bank, so Charles intend to cover a percentage of the debt from a deceased member's antique collection. All right. Interesting. It appears mm -hmm. that the club is unable to pay its debts to the bank. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, so there's something else here. I missed this picture. The fiftieth birthday, birthday of Lord, Lord Stevenson. Stevenson. All right. We need to talk to him once more, definitely. Fire is still burning. Can't get around there. That's not from. What do we have here? Expedition to Guatemala in 1881. It's Sir Charles Yellingham, the director of the club. Okay.
Okay, and who is this fella? I wonder who this man is. Take the picture and show the man. Guatemala, 1881. I don't think this is a bowls tournament. <laughs> no, most definitely not. Empty space. Ooh. Wait. I didn't see that. Okay. The photograph appears to have been faked or damaged. I'll take it. Okay. All right. So next. Um, the table. Some. There are three glasses. So there were two other men here. So all three of them were here discussing some something, drinking. And then maybe he got outside and wanted to take a look at ooh, at the Mayan calendar. These antiques look quite valuable. Definitely, most definitely. Let's turn it like that. There's nothing here. Maybe on the top. Yeah. It appears that it's a part of a gold statue from Guatemala. Solid gold. It's worth a fortune. But isn't this a part he sold? Ah, here. This piece has been cleanly and intentionally cut. Yeah, yeah. So one half has been sold from this piece? Possibly. That was a part we already These saw. These trunks have just arrived. They're from Zacharias Greystoke's antique collection. Oh, so maybe he he um, he paid off his debts to the jeweler and got his stuff back, what he sold earlier, or years ago, because he had no money. Bong. This metal globe is very impressive. Ooh. Pieces are missing. Some bits are missing. Yeah. Some bits are missing. All right. Two golden pieces are missing. All right. No, those are not the pieces. Can't get around here. We use the gong. Wow. That's a golden helmet. So the late Mr. Roberts collection. Interesting. The men who own these collections are all dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got another clue to connect. Let's see. Uh Bui. Grace talks with it. No. Wrong. The collection at the dead. Okay. Club debts. Sir Charles desired Greystock's death in order to obtain and sell off his collection. Or Sir Charles could sell any other collection contained in the club. I think it's this. I think he is. Maybe he is really the one being responsible and he gave a false statement. At least that's what I think for the moment. Wrong, sorry. <laughs> um, so Charles had the time and opportunity to be prepared for his victim's visit. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Nope. Nope. Okay. So let's, f let's further look around. What do we have here? Looks like something was here and it's missing. Okay. There's a pretty revolver. The late Mr. Sutherland's collection. All right. The late Mr. Smith's collection. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The late Mr. Blinkhorn's collection. Mr. Blinkhorn, wait. I know those. This was from the first game. The necklace, the ring. The golden dagger. Ah, okay. The late Mr. Bromsby's collection. All right, there are a lot of collections here. There's even a bear rug down here. 
So, did I miss something else? I want to find those um, golden parts for the globe. I think, I think there's something inside the globe. Or maybe you just sold some parts for the gold um, to get some money. All right. So, dude, you need to ask, uh, to answer me some questions. You big liar. So, Charles, you informed me that you didn't know why Mr. Greystoke was here at such a time. That's correct. I have no idea. Liar. Telegram. But in fact, you do. Mr. Greystoke wrote to you about him coming with another person to visit. Ah, uh, well, yes, that is right. He raised a scandal about the Mayan calendar, so he wanted to see me before the ceremony. But I don't know exactly what it was that he wanted, or who this other person he mentioned might have been. Mm-hmm, okay. You have a fine collection at your club, with one disturbing thing in common. Hmm. All the items are from our club members. No, they are not. Post-mortem donation, yeah. But only from deceased members, including Mr. Greystone. Ah, uh, yes. But it is a rule of the club that all our members undertake to donate their personal collections to us in the event of their death. A murder at my club. Shut up. Mm. Okay. Ooh, we can perform an analysis. Okay, let's get back to Baker Street in a bit. It's just like a grace of both own parts of the gold statue. And it appears that all club members must be... What? Bequeath? The artifacts to the club. Bequeath? I've never heard that word. Okay. Let's go to Baker Street and perform an analysis. And maybe we will see, or we will get a new clue. I think he conspired with the other, with the third person. And the third person killed him. And the third person is someone really strong and... Yeah. That's what I think. At the moment, at least. Let's analyze the photograph. It appears that part has been painted over. I need to find out what's underneath. Mm -hmm. So we need the pet and the, uh, the solvent over here. Uh, one drop should do it. Okay, maybe two. Or three. Let's gently remove the paint with a soft cloth. <laughs> gently. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. Always cleaning. So that the fourth person. Ah! <gasps> Look at his eye. Really, I need from left to right. Okay. I think it's clean now, isn't it? Yeah. Uh huh. There's another person in the photograph. I will have to ask him about this, but... Is there history. anything I can do to help? Look really? here. There's a person with a swollen eye who was concealed within this photograph. A dispute of some kind, you think, Watson? Possibly. 
but it appears to me a characteristic symptom of a rare tropical disease that is found in South and Central America. South America? Brilliant, Watson. Happy to help. Is it deadly? Well, there is a chance he survived. I shall ask Sir Charles, but who knows what he'll say. I have an idea. There is only one hospital for such illness. The Hospital for Tropical Diseases. I have friends who work there. Excellent. Oh, yes? Well, the chances are slim, but I'll pay them a visit. If he's in London, they would have seen him. All right. So, men were sitting on the photograph of the Guatemala expedition. I want to go to the... What? Really? Ah, he is going there, isn't he? Yeah. All right, he's going to the um, hospital. And I have to go back to the club. And ask the man, Sir Charles, about, bo about both persons um, on the photograph. I found this photograph on your wall. You're in it, but do you know who these men are? Particularly the gentleman with the swollen eye. Hmm. Oh, him. But that's poor Mr. Albiot. He died from fever during an expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. We were searching a Mayan Quiche temple, but everything went wrong. We were unable to enter the temple, and the expedition ended in disaster. I'm here, and here is Zacharias. And there is Bernard Marley, another member. He's over there, near the pedestal. Ah. He's the fellow who built that terrible statue. He created it, oh, must have been ten years ago. Albeit was a club member, where is his collection? Well, the devil if I know. We never did locate it. Okay. New clue. Um, expedition. Mind calendar. So, curse is real, the curse of Tekudu Man is real and is aimed towards the expedition members, or no curse, the curse doesn't exist, it is simple, simply the human interpretation of events. Sherlock Holmes does not believe in curses. Just in logic. There are no curses. Okay, opportunity. Sir Charles is aware of the curse, he had the perfect opportunity. Or unaware, Sir Charles is unaware of the existence of the curse, opportunity doesn't make him a murderer. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> it all looks like like that he's a murderer. We will leave it like that for the moment because the story isn't done yet. You will have to talk to him over there. Where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. Thought he left or hit or something. Mr. Bernard Marley, I presume. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have to ask you about an expedition to Guatemala. Shh, not here. It's too dangerous. I'll give you my card. Visit me there where we can talk. Okay. He's afraid. Bernard Marley, foundry director, 8 Grub Street, London. So, the statue of Tecunamon was built 10 years ago by Mr. Bernard Marley. Um, there's a Grub Street. And we have to learn more about him. Alright. I will take a little break at this point. Now it's get now it's getting interesting. I still think that this man over there, that Sir Charles, killed the other three, or the other two. Or at least not the other two, but this fella here. Her Yellingham, uh, Sir Yellingham. Um for profit. 
he needed his collection, maybe to sell some of the stuff or so, because he's hardly in debt with the bank. The statue is missing, which could be relatively valuable, um, just because it's made of metal. There were uh, scratch markers all the way around to the wall over there. And maybe somebody stole it, or the bank seized it. Um, just because he didn't make his uh, payments, so he, he over there in the blue, Sir Charles, is the primary suspect, definitely. So we will take to Mr. Mar uh, we will talk to Mr. Marley next time around. Um, like I said, I will take a little break, um, just check if my crewmates are online, and afterwards I will come back or play the three on the freestyle. Depends on that. Um, if you want to see more, if you want to see the end of this second case, um, the study in green, you should just come back or hit the follow button and you will get a notification when I'm back online. It's for free. And yeah, you will see the rest of the story and the next few cases which lie ahead of us. And uh, at the moment I have to say, the study in green is nothing like the study in pink from Sherlock and uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. And... Um, so far I like it. It looks pretty pretty promising. Alright, I hope to see you guys later. Bye bye. bye, -bye.